I quit Valorant. 2021 was the year that I got my first computer. The only games it could run was Minecraft and Valorant. Being the only thing that I played last year was Cell Soccer, I decided I was going to stick with Valorant. Like most 11 year olds with video games, I got highly addicted. I played about 3 hours every single day and even brought my laptop on trips. To show you how much of a fanboy I was, I dressed up as Phoenix for all of them. What the fuck? Ever since that point, I started improving myself. I became kind of a gym rat. I also started getting more confident in myself. But does that mean that you should quit Valorant as well? New alert from the World Health Organization about video game addiction. You may have heard of this term, but most kids brush it off like it's nothing. I mean, how bad is one hour a day? You're not playing an hour a day. In fact, I bet your day goes something like this. You wake up, go to school, think about video games in school, play those games when you get home, rage, then close the game and proceed to watch maybe two hours of YouTube or TikTok while browsing Steam. But that's all part of their plan. You see, if they can get you hooked on a game, they'll spend money on it. Jeez. And spend money I did. I spent about $200 on this game, and little did I know the thing that was feeding into my addiction was YouTube. But how is YouTube the problem? Social media has always been a place filled with content creators, and as you know, Valorant is a huge topic on YouTube. But with this huge topic, doesn't come a huge amount of content. In fact, Valorant only gets updated about one time a month, but new skins come out every two weeks, which leads to an unholy amount of Valorant content being based around skin, and this affected me a lot. But does this affect your average Valorant player? And if so, how will I test this? Dino Boy. Yeah? I ate lettuce. What the fuck? This is my friend Dino Boy, and he is the first contestant for the experiment. But he is only one out of 20 different contestants. And you may be asking, how does this experiment work? Well, first we'll ask our contestants to name their favorite Valorant YouTuber. And I'll ask him why. Do I do do. Next, I will document it on the holy whiteboard. And at the end, we'll have everybody on the holy whiteboard. Now that I have a game plan, the only problem I have left to face is not being able to find contestants. So I decided to search Google, and that literally had nothing. So out of options, I asked my brilliant friend, Dino Boy. Dino Boy, how do I find contestants? You must go on Valorant. Bro, nobody asked your five-year-old ass. But with this five-year-old's knowledge, I decided it was time to get to work. Guys, what's up? Yo, uh, I was gonna say, if someone took Graves, I'm gonna be very stacked. There's no character in the house. used. No, I- No! Bro, <laughs> no. Nah. What is your guys' favorite Valorant YouTuber? Do you watch Valkyrie on? I, I feel like that's a simple YouTube. answer. No, I don't really watch any Valorant on YouTube. But you said you were filming a YouTube video, so I'll say you. Oh, no. God! He's right. It just auto-corrected the good, uh, good burger. I don't know why. <laughs> I get that a lot. What do you mean by that? Hey, yo, y'all want to listen to the worst player on the team. I want to try to know that. As I said, w as play. I said, the worst player. Do you play? You any other questions besides Valor ones? Good luck and have fun there, guys. Bruh. 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 Oh my gosh. Shiver my timbers. Subscribe to Good Book, guys. Good job, cute guy. Why, thank you, daddy. No problem. What's your favorite Valorant YouTuber? Hmm. Would have to be El Tater. Let me get this ace, guys. Bro, I'm fatherless again. Oh, Last oh yeah, my god. Like it's a cute guy. You're goddamn right. It's a cute guy. Hell yeah. You're Bro, all cute I love well. cute guys. I mean, I swear I'm not gay. How does it feel to be a cute guy? It feels fucking amazing. A cute guy. What's your favorite Valorant YouTuber? Uh, myself, because I don't watch YouTube. That makes sense to me. We're not gonna talk about that crosshair is phenomenal, Ray. You know it, baby. One. Good shot. Cute guy, it's you. Mm, no, I'm all the way over here. What? Sitting in a corner being cute. It's so cute, bro. One. Fred, you're too good. No! With the experiment done, 16 people said they didn't feel affected. But that's not even why you came here. You came here because you're debating quitting Valorant. So what I'll say to you is if you don't have fun playing it, don't. But hop it on with your friends every so often is fun. In fact, sometimes it's really fun. So if I convince you to quit, tell me in the comments. But if not, go have some fun.